live look at Washington, D.C., where President Obama just wrapped up a news conference this noon talking about sequestration. Now, the chance to avoid a series of harsh automatic spending cuts is all but gone. The president is saying the cuts are unnecessary. Now, some Democrats and Republicans in Congress want to fix the budget situation for the long term. In the coming days and the coming weeks, I'm going to keep, up, uh, keep on reaching out uh, to them, uh, both individually and uh, as, uh, as groups of senators or, or members of the House, and say to them, let's fix this. Not just for a month or two, uh, but for years to come. Because uh, the greatest nation on earth does not conduct its business in month-to-month -month increments. Both sides have admitted there will be no deal. So what does this mean now? Tara Mergener reports from the White House. President Obama sat down with top congressional leaders at the White House, but as expected, they did nothing to stop the automatic spending cuts from kicking in. Before the meeting even started, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said there will be no last-minute backroom deal and absolutely no agreement to increase taxes. Lawmakers had a year and a half to come up with a budget compromise to avoid the automatic cuts. When a last-ditch effort failed in the Senate Thursday, Democrats and Republicans blamed each other. They've done nothing. To me, this is pathetic leadership by the commander-in-chief. Then they left town for a long weekend. The cuts go into effect when the president signs the order. The law gives him until midnight to do so. Then dozens of federal agencies start scaling back. $85 billion, or about 3% of the budget, needs to be slashed this year. Almost half of the cuts will be at the Pentagon. General Ray Odierno says the Army alone will have to stop training 80% of its troops. We might have to delay deploying people because they're not trained properly. The cuts will take time to implement, and the full effect may not be seen for weeks. Tara Mergener for CBS News, the White House. And many of the defense cuts will include civilians who work for the military. The Navy alone plans to furlough 186,000 civilian employees. To see just how big an impact the sequester will have on you and your family, just go to cbs12.com slash vote. There you'll find a section on why lawmakers say the budget debate could drag on for a long, long time.